Hello, and hello, hello again to another bootleg buster review. God, we can hear me now, but I'm trying to keep a low voice down because my mum's asleep at the moment. I don't want to hear her to knock on the door saying that it's too late. But continue the review. That's what we talk about turbinch, mannequin, and customized toys. So we can hear. Anyway, this is it. Fat man, fat ass, DMC, Spider 2D. The first two are based on a recently edited graphic novel called Fat Man For Whenever, Volume 3, which is based on the Fat Man trilogy I did in Thunderbolts Comics UK. This was done in the year 2013, sorry. I did it just before the book even existed. I still developing the character and stuff, as you can see. This of course is apparently based on Kick Ass by Mark Miller and John Romita Jr. This was done at least in the year 2018, which is this year of course. Spider Tudor was done in the year um, 2014. It's also autographed by the Man Who Create Gorillas, Jamie Hewlett. Thank you, sir. This is the DMC man. This was done in the year, I believe, 2015. Yep. And also signed by DMC himself. From the group One DMC, King of Rock, DMC, which is quite nice for him. He's starting to be this year for the planet. So let's continue with the review. This was the first one. Well, I did others 12 inch, um, sorry, not 12 inch, I think they're 8 inch, sorry, mannequin, sorry. I'm sorry about my calculation because I'm just trying to keep it cool and simple for what I'm viewing. But anyway, this was done all in um, Vimo clay. When I first did it, it was alright, but unfortunately, when I when the um, clay was cooked and buried, it was kind of cracking apart, as you can see here, the cracks were there. And also, I put matte coat in it, and it's still a bit sticky from the first time I did it, from 2014. Which is quite crap, because one, <coughs> I tried my best to flip in, keep it dry as possible, but I guess it just has one of those things where you make something great and cool. It has four packs, so just the cracks and the wet, sticky gloss from the um, matte coat I used to varnish this. That's why my previous one I did just that just the reason that I started using varnish so using matte coat because it was gives it that wet sticky feel and all that kind of incomplete dry sort of scenario which I hate. And it's funny I did this for at least more than a decade no, sorry, it's two thousand thirteen so it's still not a decade yet, but it's still it's annoying that I made a great figure but the stickiness is still on it. And it's dumb. But I like the detail it because I did um Bulletproof Fest had the game uh, an armored fate an armored um cow like Batman. And of course he had some shoulder pads you can see here. There's like elbow pads. And I supposed to give it knee pads but it kept falling apart so now I gave it boots and I gave it a golden titty belt. So they had FM on it like Fat Man for abbreviation, like what's that show? What's that from um kick ass? But um You can't always do what you want to do. So yeah. Here's Fat Ass based on, of course, a parody of Kick Ass, but a fat version. This was done by um, Super Sculpty. It was quite easy to do because Super Sculpty had that Caucasian skin look about it, so I'd have to colour in the skin colour for the ski mask. This was cooked and well, but unfortunately I didn't give it shoulder joints, I mean elbow joints like I do for Fat Ass. Sorry, for Fat Man, Fat Man, sorry, excuse me. And of course, um, I'm trying to keep it short and simple, mind you. Forgive me for a bad review because I'm trying to keep it quiet as possible. I don't want any complaints when I film this. I don't want any interruptions, shall we say. But let's just continue anyway. This is quite fun too. I did this recently for after the book was made because I want to celebrate. Like, what can I do to sort of promote the book even better? So I did this Fat Man Psychic from the third volume of Fat Man. And, um, yeah. All painted acrylic. Some parts done in Posca and Sharpie. Most of I actually enjoyed the utility box. I put more deals to it. As you can see, I put the FA. Unfortunately, I didn't do it for Fat Man, but I did it for Fat R. So, yeah. Some colours are a bit off putting. Like here, it's a bit light green and jade green, but it's alright. And I did the belt separate. I didn't cook it at the same time as the figure because it would have squashed in the oven when I baked it in the oven. Because it's actually baked clay, not necessarily dry air clay. And um, this can bend back, but this can't, unfortunately, which is sort of disappointing. But what can I do? I'm a figure maker. You learn from your mistakes. But it can make a great figure. Hoping to sell it soon, if possible. And this one, of course, is Spider 2D, based on the founder member Gorillas 2D meets Spider-Man. It was also based on a certain video he did called Rock the House. 
I can recall when he was dodging snooker cue balls from a machine, yeah, I remember. But I decided to put on um, a bit of Spider-Man to it, because in the video of the house for my gorillas, he had a Spider-Man t-shirt right where my thumb is, if you can see, yeah. And his normal face, of course, but I thought, let me put the Spider-Man thing as a mask, because in the storyboard of the house by gorillas, he's supposed to wear a spider mask, but I got rid of it, but I thought, what well, would look like if a spider mask? And it looks, it looks like this, very cool. I like this one the best out of all the ones I did here because this was all made from scratch by a chicken wire. It will look something that I could find one near B. Something. Oh gosh, I can't find it. Anyway, made out of chicken wire, two layers of chicken wire. Let's get a destructor. And of course, um, my super sculpting part of it was done. I mainly put such as the hand. The knee pads, the boots, the gloves again, and of course the um, hair piece. So all is done separately. And also the shorts too, which I really put as well. So yeah. And um, yep. Yeah. It's done by the man himself, JB Hewlett, the man of great tank gun gorillas. Thank you, sir. You're all the greatest. All paint the acrylic. Yeah, all paint the acrylic. And I think I didn't varnish this, but it feels better without varnish because I'm very thankful for this. Cause like I said, with matte coat and varnish spray, they're always such killers of your work, and I really hate that about. Some um, figures, so I've got to keep uh, at least researching better ones than using flipping spray varnish or pink varnish. And um, I hope I'm reviewing this probably because I feel so lazy doing this because I haven't done this in a while since I was in Australia. But you know, I'm trying to get my sort of game back. Yep, I'll do it again. Held my milli put, saw so the gloves, the shorts, and the knee pads, and I think. Actually, no, the shoe wasn't done by Milliput, it was actually done by Super Sculpt. Yeah, the whole body design is Super Sculpt, except for the gloves and the shorts and the hair. But it was painted by Posca and acrylic paint, so yeah, that's how it's done. One of my favourites because I did it by scratch, no food, no wooden bag intended, or no extreme food intended. And last but not least, DMC, based on Dale Mc... Oh, I can't remember his name. Dale McDowell's superhero called DMC, of the same name, but he's a superhero rapper. I was hoping that after doing the company with her figure, but nothing happened. So I said, let me make one based on a man with a mannequin. I like this one too. It's my second favorite out of this lot because one, I put a lot of deal in this. And finally, this is the one that has a successful gloss job, which I'm thankful. This is a spray one. No sticky stuff, no whatever. For what I did was, I did this whole piece out of Milliput, if I can recall. The whole hat and glass and the knuckle dust was done by um, Super Sculpty and the trainers too. And actually, the whole thing was done by Milli Super Sculpty. But this part was done by um, Milliput. It's the only thing that was quite hardcore. DMC, DMC is in the back. I hope you can see it properly. I hope I hold it right. I hope I don't feel foolish doing this. But at the end of the, the, end of the show, you'll see the photos of it, so you won't get confused when I hold this up or not. And uh, yeah, all painted acrylic. The whites and the gold were done by Posca. So were the blue um, lighting, of course. I love the blue lighting. It's like a cold book kind of inking, which I like. Yeah, this was done by Sharpie Pen. The finish army pens too, and all fires by gloss, and of course by varnish, by sorry by spray varnish, yeah, by Man my Monta spray varnish spray can, if I can record, yeah. Hope I don't speak too fast because I'm trying my best to keep it as slow as possible. I speak in pendage. But anyway, this is based on Dan McDowell's latest character, DMC, who's a hip hop superhero. I recommend you read that book. You got three volumes now. Good stuff. And that's it. My 8 inch figurine, call it what you will. There'll be a part 2 of this because I've got more to do, but unfortunately I've just got no time left. But here it is now. 8 inch minifigures Fat Man, Fat Ass, Spider 2D, and of course DMC. Hope you enjoy the show. Please subscribe to my channel to see more of this. And also, don't forget to leave a comment if you like what you see.